Hi everyone, welcome back to Zach's Deck. Today, we have an exciting tutorial for you. We're going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing PFSense, a powerful open-source firewall and routing platform, on VirtualBox. This will allow you to create a virtualized network environment for testing and experimentation purposes. Before we dive in, if you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more tech tutorials like this one. Alright, let's get started. The first step is to download the PFSense ISO image from the official website. Open your web browser and go to the PFSense official website. Before we do that let us download and install VirtualBox. If you already have VirtualBox skip this step. Since I will be installing the VirtualBox on a Windows machine I will select Windows Host. Let us now install the VirtualBox on our system. Just follow the on-screen instructions to install the application. The VirtualBox is now installed. Let us now download the PFSense ISO image. Here, you'll find various versions of PFSense. Choose the version that suits your needs. We recommend the AMD64 version for most users. On the installer select DVD image. Choose a mirror closest to your location for faster downloads. Once downloaded, make sure you have 7-zip installed or any other file archiver for compressing and uncompressing files. Seems I don't have 7-zip installed let me download and install it. 7-zip is a free and open source file archiver. Now that 7-zip is installed just right-click on the PFSense ISO image and extract it. Now that we have VirtualBox and the PFSense ISO, let's set up a new virtual machine. Open VirtualBox and click on the new button. Give your virtual machine a name, like PFSense. Next select the PFSense ISO image you downloaded earlier. Choose BSD as the type and FreeBSD as the version. Choose the 64-bit version. PFSense is an open-source firewall and routing platform based on FreeBSD. FreeBSD is a free and open-source Unix-like operating system. Allocate at least 1 GB of RAM, but the more memory the better. You can allocate more than one CPU, but for now I will stick to one CPU. You can change these settings later if you want more processing power. Let me increase the memory to at least 4 GB since I have 8 GB on the host machine.
Next, we need to set up the virtual hard disk. 10 gigabytes is sufficient for PFSense. I plan to install a lot of packages, so I will choose more. When done click on finish. Having multiple network interfaces will be beneficial for our firewall installation. Among these interfaces, one will be designated as our WAN interface, ensuring a functional internet connection. Click on the Network tab to set up network interfaces. Adapter 1 will be our WAN adapter, Adapter 2 will be our LAN adapter, and Adapter 3 will be our DMZ. Virtual machines set to operate in virtual boxes internal network mode are linked to an isolated virtual network. Within this network, these virtual machines can communicate with one another, but they are unable to establish connections with the virtual box host machine or any other hosts in physical or external networks. We are now prepared to install PFSense on VirtualBox. To begin, select your PFSense virtual machine and click on the Start button. The virtual machine is now starting so you can begin the installation. Press Enter to accept the copyright and distribution notice. On this screen press Enter to install PFSense. Just press Enter here to proceed to the next screen. Even on this screen leave everything at the default and press Enter. Next, we choose Stripe as we're installing PFSense on a single disk. Press the space bar to select the VirtualBox hard disk and then press Enter. Use the tab key to select yes then press enter. The installation process will start. It will take a bit of time so be patient. Now, it's crucial to remove the ISO file from VirtualBox before rebooting. Failing to do so will lead us back to the initial steps of the installation process. Press Enter to reboot the virtual machine. Just ignore these arrows and reset the virtual machine. PFSense will now initiate its first boot. It should automatically identify the network adapter assigned to NAT adapter 1 as the WAN interface, and the remaining two adapters will be recognized as the LAN and DMZ or OPT interfaces. DHCP is enabled by default on the LAN interface and the default IP range is in the 192.168.1. Now to configure the PFSense we need to install another virtual machine. The new virtual machine should also be in the internal network to connect to the LAN part of the PFSense. You can create a Windows 10 or 11 virtual machine or any light Linux machine of your choice. Since I have an Ubuntu ISO image, we'll create an Ubuntu virtual machine. This is how the network is like. We'll install Ubuntu as PC1. We'll later add a Windows machine as PC2 and a server in the DMZ. Let me now install the Ubuntu virtual machine. The virtual machine is now installed let me change the adapter to internal so I connect to the PFSense LAN. Let us check the IP address it has picked up. It has the IP address assigned by VirtualBox. Let me change the adapter from NAT to internal. When we change adapter settings to internal the Ubuntu VirtualBox will now be connected to the LAN network of the PFSense. 
Let us now check the IP address it has picked up. As you can see it has picked up the IP address from the PFSense DHCP server in the 192 range. Let us now open a browser and connect to the PFSense dashboard. Before we do that let me first try to ping the LAN interface of PFSense. As you can see I can reach the LAN interface of PFSense. You will get a certificate error since we have not installed a certificate. We'll show you in another video how to install a certificate. Log in with the default credentials admin is their username and pfsense is the password. pfsense should be in small letters even the username admin. Run through the initial configuration wizard to finish the installation and configuration of PFSense. And that's it for the installation part. Check out the video in the description on how to do basic configurations on PFSense. And there you have it. We've successfully walked through the step-by-step -step process of installing PFSense on VirtualBox. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.